So many people want to ascend or they want to go up and out. They haven't even mastered being inside of your body. Welcome back everyone. This is the Mind Body Mentor YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Steven Jaggers and on today's video, I want to answer one of the questions that was asked. What's the difference between DMT breathing and somatic breath work? Now before we get into that, there are so many different types of breath work out there and they're all good for different things. There's a lot of dogma out there that uh, this is the only way you should be doing it. This way is wrong. Breathing is the number one way to control your nervous system, to change your state. And so there's lots of different states that we can access. The difference between a lot of these um, holotropic DMT breathing versus somatic breath work is that a lot of these breath works are designed to take you into an altered state of consciousness. And with somatic breath work, you are definitely taking yourself into an altered state of consciousness. There is levels to that though. Uh, holotropic, and I think DMT breathing traditionally is done very intensely for an extended period of time. It's to sort of blast you off, um, to go up and out, to access, you know, uh, spiritual states of being. And that can definitely happen within somatic breath work. But the word soma or somatic means of your body. It's to become embodied or to access your body. So many people want to ascend or they want to go up and out. They haven't even mastered being inside of your body. We're given these bodies and we're not given an actual owner's manual of how to use it or how to operate it. And so somatic breath work is designed to help you feel into the areas of your body, the areas of your emotions that you have not had access to that you have numbed or suppressed or held parts of yourself back. Somatic breath work is designed to feel. That is, our, that is our motto, it's okay to feel. Traditionally, somatic breath work is done with yourself and at least another person. It's done with a practitioner and a client, someone that's receiving. And this is so important because it allows you to be guided. It allows you to go in. And most of our wounding happens in relationship to another human. So a lot of our healing happens in relationship to another human. Now, a somatic breathwork practitioner will guide you and might use hands on touch or uh, uh, verbal cueing or helping you to make noise, to help you make sound, to help you express that which has been repressed and put down or pushed down. A person might be working on you in, in certain areas. Now, if you've ever gotten body work and someone's pressed into the side of your hip or pressed in your shoulder and you've been like, ow, you weren't actually aware of yourself. You weren't actually aware that that part of your body was tender. And so you need that other person to actually bring awareness. You actually weren't occupying that area of your body. So somatic breath work is designed to help you occupy your body, to occupy your emotions. And when we're not occupying our body, when we're not occupying our emotions, we're numb. And if you are cutting yourself off from that, you're not gonna have access to the highs. If you don't have a solid foundation in your body, if your roots don't grow deep, you can't access those higher states from a grounded place. There's so many people that have these sort of blast off experiences, whether it's breath work or um, psychedelics, where they're not grounded inside themselves. They don't know what they're actually feeling. They don't have a strong sense of self, so they get lost. And so your tree can only grow as tall as your roots run deep to say, why do we even want to access these higher states of consciousness? It's to actually take these messages and bring them back into our body so we can become embodied, so we can operate from that place right here and right now in our life. 
That's what it's for. That's what it's all about. So you can have a higher quality of life right here, right now, so you can cultivate healthy relationships with other people and you can cultivate healthy relationships with yourself. And that's what somatic breath work is all about, is cultivating a healthy relationship to yourself, your body, your emotions, your soma. Because the body is the temple, right? And the temple is where we go to worship. So let's take care of our bodies and, that, and therefore we can access higher states after that. Um, but if you found this information relevant, if you have questions, comments, leave them below. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I can't wait to see you on the next video.